What's up, boss babes? Welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie Causing. If you've never seen my face before, make sure that you subscribe because every week I bring entrepreneurs new videos that help you grow your business on social media. Today, I wanted to share with you guys a lot of things that I've learned on how to grow your following on Instagram, and this is without paying for ads or fake account. Now we all know that Instagram is the hot spot for potential new followers with over 1 billion active accounts every month. And that statistic is just as of June of last year. Now I pulled that from Digital Guide and I'm going to share the link below in case you guys wanted to do a little more digging and a little more research yourself because if you're a little bit of a geek like me, you're going to want to see a little more details around that. So check it out below. But if you're just a little curious about how to gain your following on Instagram, Instagram without having to spend money on ads, just keep watching. Let's talk a little bit about these hashtags. I know, okay, nobody does that anymore. Okay, but hashtags claimed its fame on Twitter, but now you see it everywhere. It's all over social media. But one of the biggest things and the biggest mistakes I see people do is that they just throw all kinds of hashtags in their content when they share posts on Instagram. Now, before you start throwing hashtags on your posts, you have to have some kind of strategy. So I'm going to give you a little bit of tips. Huh? Maybe you could call them hacks, but one of the first things is don't use a hashtag in your bio. Here's the reason why. Okay, so Instagram doesn't use hashtags that are in your bio for search results. The only thing that they use in your bio is your name or your username. So when you put a hashtag in your bio, it doesn't serve any type of purchase, purpose, purchase, purpose, plus, when you put a hashtag in there and somebody clicks on that or goes to that hashtag, it pulls up all of this other media and content which takes them away from you and that's not what you're trying to accomplish. So if you wanna make a search result a little more effective, what you wanna do is for your name for Instagram, instead of just using your name because most people won't be searching for you using your name because most people don't know who you are yet. So include your name, maybe your first name, and then in include a keyword. So for me, for example, I use Cassie and branding mentor. So some people may search for branding or mentor and my name or my profile will pop up. This increases the chances of people finding you on Instagram and then starting to follow you. Another little trick that I like to do is create hashtag recipes. And I, I use that term loosely because I like to eat, I'm a big foodie, so I created hashtag recipes. Basically what this is, is Instagram allows you to use up to 30 hashtags per post. So I like to take full advantage of that because basically when you use a hashtag, if you're not familiar with it, it's basically like a label that gives people the ability to search and find content related to that specific, specific, Blah. Blah. specific topic around that subject <laughs> ah! okay so this is going to take a little bit of time and research on your part you're going to have to do a little bit of homework but i promise you when you pull this together it's going to make your content easier to find and you're going to get followers a lot quicker so I'm popping my recipe right here so you can see what it looks like. It's about mixing the most popular hashtags with the least popular hashtags. And you're probably thinking, Cassie, you've lost your mind, but I promise this works. And the reason why it works is because if you use just all of the most popular hashtags with your feed, then what's going to happen is your post is going to get mixed in with the post of all of the billion other people that are posting and using that same hashtag and it's going to mesh in and get mixed in within seconds. So it's the least likely that people are going to see your post in the time that you want them to see it. So what will happen is that you'll get quick response pretty fast but then it's going to die out pretty quickly. So you're not going to get as much engagement and you're not going to gain as many followers. So if you mix in your hashtag with moderate popular hashtags and also lesser popular hashtags, then your feed is going to last on these 
post a lot longer and you're going to get more engagement with your post. So if you want to grab your hands on my recipe, you can download my free Instagram hacks. It gives you the recipe and it explains how it works and how to pull it together. I also give you a hundred of the hashtags that gain you likes as well as where you can find hashtags that's going to help you create your own hashtag recipe. Something else that you don't want to do is use the same hashtags over and over and over again because just like Facebook, Instagram is looking for spamming. And when you use the same hashtags, it looks like spam and that's a big no-no. So what you want to do is create multiple different hashtag recipes that you're going to rotate between your posts. Now, keeping up with all of these hashtags can be cumbersome, so how do you do it? Now, you could just keep a list of these on your notepad on your phone, but I'm going to share a quick little tip further in this video on how I do it. Now, the next important thing when you're on Instagram is having a content strategy, you guys, and branding. Brand, brand, brand. You definitely want to appeal to your audience because you gotta look at your Instagram profile as if it's your storefront. So imagine a customer going past your store and your Instagram feed is basically like window shopping. So when somebody visits your profile, there's gonna be something appealing that makes them want to stay for a little while. So a few things that you wanna think about when you're planning your content is your color palette, style, how do you want your audience to feel when they go visit your profile, and what message do you wanna to send to them when they get there? Once you figured all this out and you have a strategy in place, then you can actually schedule your post and use an app that does all of this for you. Now I'm going to share with you what I use. I absolutely love this. It's called Later and how it makes life a little simpler and you can schedule your post out for like your whole month or week and how it keeps track of my hashtag recipes and just makes life a little easier. So one thing that I love about Later is that it allows you to upload your media and you can pull in multiple images at one time. And then you can see everything on the left side here. And then as you want to schedule your content, you can drag and drop things. And it shows you a preview of your Instagram account, your Instagram profile here. You can drag things into different places and you can actually create and see what your profile is going to look like and then when you're ready to save it you'll click save and then what you can do is look into your week or look into your month and see exactly what your schedule looks like for the week and then once you get things scheduled you can click into it add your content and one of the most favorite things that i love about this is at the bottom you have saved captions clicking on your saved captions, you can come over here and this is where you can save your hashtag recipes. And remember how I was telling you to mix those up with your moderately popular and least popular ones and add those there. And what I have done is I have six different recipes over here. As I find other hashtags, I will create more recipes. And with each post, I will select the different saved captions that I have here that go to the bottom of each post. And then when I am done, I will just save. And then it's gonna save and you can schedule when you want it to automatically post for you. Now, one thing about later is that you can also link your other social media accounts such as Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, there are other scheduling apps out there like Postcron. One thing about Postcron that um, is not similar to Later is that you can't save captions. So when you schedule something, you have to individually add your captions, your hashtags, recipes to that. So you would have to have them saved somewhere else and copy and paste. But one thing that Postcron has that Later doesn't have is the ability to add additional other social media platforms such as LinkedIn and Facebook group. There is another one that you guys find interest in which is called Post Planner. Post Planner also doesn't have the ability to add your hashtag recipes. You have to have those saved somewhere else. Post Planner does give you um, great feeds from other resources so you can share those 
on your page as well. So there's other uh, apps out there that you might find favorable to later. But what I like about later is the fact that you can actually see your Instagram preview and move things around so you can see what it looks like as it gets posted. So you can actually have your content structured how you want it before you actually schedule it. Pretty awesome, right? So there are other apps out there similar to Later, such as Postcron and Post Planner, but Later is the only one that I have been able to have or have. Bleh, 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 there I go again. Find that actually allows me to save my hashtag recipes and use them on a rotation basis. Now I'm going to show you what a disaster my Instagram used to be when I didn't have a strategy in place and I was just randomly posting not knowing what I was doing. So this is what it used to look like and what most people's Instagram looks like today. And then this is what it looks like when you actually have some kind of strategy and plan in place when you're thinking about the audience and how to attract them to your profile. So which one, if you came to my Instagram profile, would actually be more inviting? So there you have it, you guys. It's pretty easy when you really think about it, how to stand up an Instagram account and actually start attracting followers to your profile. It's all about strategy, the content that you're providing, and creating something that's going to really Pull your audience in and give them something of value. And let's not forget about those hashtags, baby, because those come in play and are very important too. So if you found value in this, make sure you subscribe because I add videos every week that bring you something that's going to help build your business on social media. And don't forget to hop over and download your free Instagram hacks that give you a little more information on how I pull all of this together. And I appreciate you guys joining me today and I'll catch you next time.